I offer same day personal rings for $20. You get the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. We're just gonna jump right in here and see what's going on with you today, Virgo. All right, this is a general reading, so of course it's not gonna resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at possessed 777 and i do offer same day personal readings everything you need to know is in the description box below thank you yeah today he just it's like he grew overnight or something he looks way bigger today for some reason Right, Virgo. So it looks like right away here, someone's being lazy and greedy at the same time, not humbling themselves, not getting their hands dirty and willing to, you know, uh, work, do something here. But they want to hang on to everything that they know is not even of value to them. So you drop the burden of them. You're like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. I have enough stress in life. And it looks like here, that's when they choose to feel uncomfortable, stuck, miserable, unhappy, bored with what they're doing in life, with who they're with. They feel like they've settled. They care too much about people's opinions. They don't know who they are. Uh, looks like it makes sense here. This is just toxic family members that you're already aware of and or um, this person is very unhappy in their marriage or relationship. They could be cheating on their person or they are just unfulfilled with who they're with, unfulfilled with their own personal commitments. Whatever they have of success, it ain't it for them and they know it and they don't care. They're more depressed about it. They're upset about it or who they're in a marriage or relationship with. It is not ideal. Maybe not even be real. I don't know. Um, it's made them more destructive more toxic knowing that it's not helping them and you know it's making things worse but they want to just keep taking another risk over and over and over again in a toxic desperate deceptive way Looks like you you know about this though because so what their toxic risky thing is they want to use who they're in a marriage or relationship with or maybe use you as well for instant valid what's it called validation I was gonna say verification I don't know maybe verification green card I don't know <laughs> don't let me start with that um let's not <laughs> anyway um you know what's it called like share subscribe is what I'm saying here they want to use social media media whore okay sorry but it's true they want to use you or whoever they're with for you know look at me look at me look at me let me get famous let me get popular let me have i don't know the thing is is like they're not even feeling successful anymore they're not even happy it's like whatever they have it's like yeah, or they're just lazy and they have a platform and it's just floating around whatever job that they have they just care about image wealth money status they just care about validation seeking whatever it is here that's when you actually put your walls up you stand your ground and you're like yeah fuck that i'm not dealing with this right now like you are aware of who this is and how they do that and you know you're like no thank you and then they want to try to do a few things here because you like defend yourself and protect yourself they want to use you for ideas copy you or they just have nothing better in life to do and they don't even want to look at what they're actually good at and talented in, in life and they're just lazy just breadcrumb people or breadcrumb you i don't know It looks like you, oh, interesting. You may even have to do a little magic spell to freaking defend yourself from them or something here because you know the truth about this person, not in a bad way, like a protection spell or something because what happens here is you end up, um, not all of you, of course, but you end up defending yourself, guarding yourself, protecting yourself against this person completely. 
setting up some walls and boundaries and just respecting yourself in that sense. And then you go back to what you truly are about, what you believe in, okay? It could be spiritual, religious, occult, a craft, divination, divinatory, whatever you're about it and you do it well and you ask, you're smart about it too. You're back to just manifesting and co-creating things for yourself. You're looking at your own talents and skills, what it is you need to do. And that's when you discover the truth about what's going on with this person and what's happening here. Maybe you speak your truth. You're definitely aware of it though. Yeah, and it looks like because of that, now you're getting exactly what you want here, okay? So you're very grateful and happy and fulfilled. You're getting exactly what you want. You're in your strength. You're feeling very powerful, confident, and strong to get up and do things, say things, take care of things. And you're very passionate about something or someone. You're moving extremely quick. And you're, I feel like you're getting what you want because of that here. You're running around doing your things, you know, what you feel happy about, excited about, passionate about here. Creating necessary plans for you that make sense for you here in the situation. And for a lot of you, congratulations, possibly it's to get a divorce here with this person or, you know, others of you, it's kind of like this because um, you're really emotionally happy and loving and nurturing and secure and set and stable with whatever's going on with yourself in your life here. You choose to still be kind of nice to this person, you're like, whatever. And then it's like, you end up serving justice on them. You know what I mean? And so like, there's a lot of wonderful things going on here with you where you're like, you know, you could be signing really good, you know, legal contracts of some sort, you know what I mean? Um, dealing with legal matters and just wanting to create a balance here in life. And that's when this person chooses to be a few things, unfaithful in their own marriage or relationship and commitments that they have, to be greedy, to be narcissistic, to be someone that only uses society and community and people for the sake of, you know, like, share, subscribe, money. This is a false spiritualist possibly here. This is someone that just wants everyone to kiss their ass and look at them like they're the Messiah and they don't know shit. They have no gifts. They don't do anything. They don't know anything here. They have to always rely and sneak and depend on other people to figure out what their next move is. This is a fat liar, okay? Um, I don't know why they're trying to get involved with you, but it looks like here that, yeah, they're not being honest with themselves. They're not telling the truth about anything and they don't give a shit. Alrighty. Yep, and it looks like here at home, they're just spiraling and they're going more... Things that, for this person's house or home, it's very unstable. So whoever they live with, whatever's going on, it is not real. It's a scam, sham, toxic. Thank you, ma'am. They're being greedy. They're being lazy. Like, they want to take money from you. Um, you know, they just want to continue being lazy. They want to continue being unfaithful to whomever, whatever they're with or whatever's going on here. Um, they are mentally, emotionally, financially, and physically unstable. So there's that. You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you, bye.